Today, the Justice Department informed the family of Tyree Nichols that we have charged five former Memphis police detectives with federal crimes in connection with the death of Mr. Nichols. United States Attorney Kevin Ritz and Assistant Attorney General for Civil Rights, Kristen Clark, will detail those charges shortly. On January 7th of this year, Tyree Nichols was just minutes away from home when he was pulled over by law enforcement officers sworn to protect him. As the indictment charges, the defendants in this case who at the time were serving as detectives with the Memphis Police Department brutally beat Mr. Nichols. They then failed to render medical aid to Mr. Nichols and further failed to tell emergency responders that they had struck him repeatedly, even as his condition deteriorated and he became unresponsive. We also allege that while Mr. Nichols lay dying in a hospital, the defendants conspired to cover up their crimes, including by falsely stating that Mr. Nichols had actively resisted arrest. Weeks after Mr. Nichols' death, the Memphis Police Department released body camera footage of the incident. The country watched in horror as Mr. Nichols was kicked, punched, tased, and pepper sprayed. We all heard Mr. Nichols cry out for his mother and say, quote, I'm just trying to go home. We allege that the defendants charged today willfully deprived Tyree Nichols of his constitutional rights and that their actions resulted in his death. Tyree Nichols should be alive today. I want to express my deep condolences to Mr. Nichols' loved ones as they continue to grieve the loss of their beloved son, father, brother, grandson, and friend. Officers who violate the civil rights of those they are sworn to protect undermine public safety, which depends on the community's trust in law enforcement. They dishonor their fellow officers who do their work with integrity every day. The Justice Department will continue to hold accountable officers who betray their oath.